Yeah, this has helped this person to realize that they have to release the situation because they've allowed that person to project their insecurities onto them. Um, they've allowed them to like keep them in an energy where they felt like they had to tolerate this type of um, connection. This is like a pattern or some type of back and forth. You have addictions. So these are two people that could have shared the same toxic attachments. This is what led two people together. And this was only keeping them at a stalemate. From a destined partnership that they have with you. Yeah. So this is someone who definitely could have just disappeared. They ghosted you. And this energy wanted you to feel rejected. Whoever this false person is. They wanted you to think that that person was not attracted to you. Or something like that. And this was supposed to make them feel good about their self. Yeah, they're in regret because this person is someone who you're the type of person you don't need another person to be attracted to you or you don't have to be the center of attention to feel good about yourself. So them ghosting you, it did not have you... Um, feeling rejected or feeling insecure, th that energy wasn't projected onto you because you know who you are as a person. You know your worth. This only gave you more strength than what you already had. Yeah, this was supposed to make you feel insecure. And they definitely thought that, um, yeah, it was supposed to make you feel insecure, but it made another person feel realize that they deserve better with grass is greener being here. And then you have relationship. They deserve better in a relationship. They have to release whatever this baggage is, whatever these toxic attachments are that led them to that person. Yeah, and whoever this ex is, it's like, they're shocked. This person was so up in the clouds in some type of illusion, they cannot believe this outcome. It was unexpected. Yeah. They didn't expect for that person to want to be single or just place themselves in isolation. They don't want to be in a relationship. And this could be the energy that they're in now. Like this person could be so guarded to the point where they just, they told that person like, hey, I don't want to be in a relationship with anyone. And this false person have sat back and like waited for them to contact them. They're waiting to see if that person is going to come toward you. Yeah, you have new love. Then you have friends. So yeah, this could have been a friend of yours. Somebody got so intimidated by you. So jealous to the point where they, they've they ended a connection out. And fear of losing what they felt like this person was given to them. Whatever they were doing, it had nothing to do with that person and who they are as a person. It had nothing to do with love. It was all envy, jealousy, intimidation, insecurities, and them being fearful of losing whatever grip they felt like they had on this, this person that 
views you as their secret crush. Yeah, you have reconciliation. Well, they felt like by now this person would, would have came back towards them, hooked up with them or something like that. Maybe they're accustomed to like a pattern. But somebody is like all the way guarded. They're going with their gut feeling. This is someone who's using their intuition. And it has them disappointed. It has this false person heartbroken. Because the secret admirer has opened up to the fact that they have um, real emotions for you, real feelings for you, romantic feelings for you. This is someone who is being honest with their self now after gaining this mental clarity. Yeah, and they felt like this this little period that this person have not been in a relationship, they would come back toward them. They would reconcile. They would get a second chance, but surrender is here. During this waiting period, this is this... The secret admirer has gained up a lot of strength, a lot of confidence, a lot of courage. And now it's like they want to talk to you. They want to reconnect with you. This could be someone that's getting ready to communicate with you. Yeah, because there's some type of good news that they want to share with you. You have date and roll the dice. So this is someone who have taken out the time to just focus on their self reflect on the things that they want to change in their life. And now it's like they want to get back out there and date. This is someone who wants to take out the time to get to know this could be what you like, what you're interested in. And um, they're definitely watching you through social media or, or online or something like that. But this false person is watching as well. And it's like whatever they see, it has them scared. It has them in fear disbelief because they felt like they would be able to change the outcome And this is somebody that don't know you. It's like they had no reason to act the way that they acted when it came to you. But this is a problem that they're dealing with. This person is insecure. This person have um, issues that is within them, inner conflict. And they thought they were going to project this off onto you. And it just did not work. You have forgiven and learning. So somebody is definitely learning to forgive. They're forgiving their self after learning this lesson from whoever this, this false person is. This could have definitely been a karmic soulmate. They feel like that's the only way they're going to be able to experience um, the love that they deserve. Yeah, this is someone who definitely wants to open up their heart. After dealing with a very codependent relationship, a codependent connection. And they felt like addictions were already affecting the connection that they had with this false person. And them being so codependent to them. Now, they could have started to feel like this person was only attached to them to feed these codependency issues. They could have been very codependent to some type of drug or alcohol. And it was just affecting the relationship 
And they could have gotten to a point where they, if they weren't enabling that person, that person would not be able to feed these addictions. They feel like they were rewarding bad behavior. If they were no longer in that energy and just separated their self from that person, that person wouldn't act that way. Yeah, this is some this is a situation that involves marriage. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, this is someone who wants to make the effort. And it's like you're calling this person in with calling in your soulmate. Or they could be trying to manifest you. This is someone who is praying. Um they're definitely staying optimistic. They they think positive about you. This is someone who have been visualizing you and them being in a relationship. Yeah, because you've stirred this person's romantic feelings. And it's the energy that you're in. Just who you are as a person, your courage, your strength. You have healing family issues, so they could feel like if they didn't go through some type of, um, this could be childhood trauma, your life, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's something that took place in their childhood. Either a mother wasn't there or a father wasn't there and um, they needed to heal. They feel like this is how they attracted this person. But now it's like they're standing up, taking control of their life. This is someone who have freed their self from a codependent relationship where they were enabling this negative behavior. You have religious factors and then you have let your friends help you very soon. So they could have went to friends for help. And if they were trying to, this could have been in the, in the stage where they were waiting they're just focusing on being single. They're in isolation. They could have asked their friends, um, should they say something to you? Should they come towards you? And they try to bring up some type of religious upbringing, or this could be your spiritual path. If you're someone that's on a spiritual path and um, yeah, you're on a whole new journey. These could be people that are very religious. They wanted to make it seem as if whatever it is that you were doing was something that was just not of God. They shouldn't go towards you because of this. They shouldn't go towards you because of that. But whatever these opinions are, it has this person taking a step back from whoever these friends are, or this could be a certain friend that they felt like would support them no matter what, it has helped them to decide what they truly want. So they're getting ready to reach out to you soon. Yeah, because they view you as their true love. And they could be realizing that they were never going to get the type of support that they wanted. But it took it took steps for them to learn this. It's like they had to release one person to see this person was someone that was not for their highest good. Then they had to go to other people that they were still attached to and set boundaries with them because they feel like these are people that are not there to serve their highest good. This is someone who have definitely got enlightened. It's like they've woken up spiritually. So whatever they see in you, they don't expect other people to see in you. The spiritual understanding that they have, 
They don't expect other people to understand that. And they're allowing spirit, their intuition, to guide them. In the direction that they want to go. 